Hello, 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 Tanya here back with another Animal Crossing video. Today's video is entirely dedicated to the path. So that is the multi-slot requiring natural looking path that um, was first created by Denimori on Twitter and kind of evokes the feeling of the dirt path in previous Animal Crossing games. And um, people have since made just exceptional variations that you can use to meet whatever kind of theme you might have on your island. And so what I wanted to do is to test out a bunch of variations for you. I ended up testing over 40 variations in categories of dirt um, paths, then natural paths which include grass, um, flowers and water and then stone and wood paths and then finally a couple of wild cards which are space and celestial themed. So with that let's get into Abel's really spent a lot of close time in the custom designs portal for this video and um, what I really appreciated was just this specific website that has been created for the path. I'll link it down below and that website includes tons of variations. Some um, that I'm showing in this video aren't on that website because um, that website was created quite a few weeks ago so it doesn't have all of the latest versions, but it is an exceptional resource, so do check that out. Another thing that helped me out was the, um, the favorite section in the custom design portal that came with the new update, because you can then just favorite creators and then check back in on their work. So this one, for example, the creator of the fairy path has since made end caps to match, and also this dirt version of fairy path, which I'll be showing both of those versions later on in the video. So. To start, the original, the exceptional dirt path by Denim Mori. Um, this is a nine slot path and really looks super natural and is really, really high quality. Um, and the way you use it is kind of mixing and matching the different corners and side pieces to create a flow between different areas. Um, they also made different versions. So there's a light version and a dark version. The thing to say, because it's a nine slot path, it doesn't have single tile slots. So horizontal, vertical, um, and end caps. So I use this creator's versions that have been adapted exactly for it. And this is how it looks. Uh, I think it looks really, really beautiful. It's really natural. It has a very smooth flow to it. And I love how you see little peaks of the dirt peak, like coming through where there are transparencies. So yeah, just the classic exceptional. Now this is a variation on the dirt path, which includes some additional touches. So uh, there are versions with little paw prints on it. There's versions with scattered leaves all around, and then there's versions with these little pebbles. And I think, um, oh, and then there's puddles in the middle as well. Now, I think all of these are really, really great. What you can do is you can mix and match between them. So you could have some mostly natural path, for example, with a couple of leaves throughout. Uh, it's entirely up to you, very, very flexible. And this is a 15 slot path. Um, so here's how it looks. I ended up going for the pebble path in the middle, which um, I don't actually recommend as using as your sole middle path because it does end up looking a little bit repetitive. I think if you mixed a match, it could be really nice. Um, but overall, this, this version of the path is very smooth. It flows really well and yeah, looking great. All right, and then moving on to this dirt fairy path. I think this one is really, really pretty. It's made by the original fairy path creator. Um, so you can see that down here. Uh, and then they adapted it for dirt. So this one has more of an ashy brown tone, but still maintains that look and feel of having the really pretty flowers scattered throughout. Um, so yeah, just an, a really cute design. This one is very flexible. It's 15 slots. You can use either end caps um, or you can use the beveled corners. So it's entirely up to you how you want to lay down this path. And here is how it looks. I think it's really so gorgeous. I've seen this used and just think um, 
it adds a lot of life and character to any island. Um, the way that the colors, the different colors of the flowers are laid out is so pretty because you just get like almost all the colors of the rainbow. Um, and it's just, it's just done so, so well. What you can do with a multi-slot path is you don't have to actually use all of the slots. So you could skip the vertical, horizontal, end caps, etc. and just opt for thicker paths. It's up to you. Okay, moving on. Now this is like a distressed uh, dirt path with some roses and flowers around it. You'll notice that the edges are a little bit more jagged, which I think looks really cool. Kind of uh, quite natural or maybe like rocky, you know? Um, and I think that this, um, yeah, this design is really nice. So this is a more minimal design. It requires only nine slots, so it does not have the horizontal piece or end caps, etc. And here's how it looks. I think the flowers are really, really beautiful. They lay out really, really well, and it all just looks um, quite realistic. I think um, and here's how it looks laid out with a little bit more decoration um, just the detailed work of the flowers is really really lovely the only thing I would say is that the because the edges are a bit more jagged um, which I think looks really cool it does end up looking potentially a little bit sharp in some corners so it just depends on if you like that aesthetic or not I think it's just um, it's more unusual so yeah just take a look now moving on to this dark dirt path with really beautiful purple flowers and scattered leaves all around. This one is a 15 slot path and uses the beveled corners. So those can be trickier to use but they just allow more flexibility than if you only had 9 plus the horizontal vertical, so 11. And here is how it looks. I originally laid it out with just 9. Um, and I think it looks so super natural. I love how the scattered leaves and the flowers look so natural in the middle. Like it doesn't look repetitive at all. And it flows really smoothly um, and just, yeah, looks like someone scattered beautiful flowers across a path, which is what it is. So yeah, really, really love this and wanted to show you also what it looked like with the horizontal vertical and the beveled corners. So I laid it out in this section. You see it looks a little bit more jagged. Um, so it just depends on what you prefer. It does give me more flexibility as well. But yeah, just zooming in to show you all those gorgeous little details. Okay, and then the creator also made a version, actually this is the first version they made, which has blue flowers and little orange leaves. And this is to tie in with the autumnal theme. I think the creator is in autumn actually. Uh, so here's how it looks on my island in summer. Uh, I think it still looks really pretty. The blue flowers are gorgeous, the orange leaves add a lot of visual interest. I do think this would really shine in in fall because the color tone of the leaves would match with your grass and your trees a bit more harmoniously so um, not to say you can use this in summer or spring but I definitely think check it out in fall for sure okay moving on another dirt path this one's a bit lighter in tone and has some pretty edging around it um, it's got some subtle details. They're all quite small and delicate. So if you want something extra but you don't want it to take up too much space, you could consider this. And this is a nine slot design with um, uh, vertical horizontal. So that comes to 11. Oh, oh, also this has two different variants of the middle, one with flowers and one that's blank. I ended up going with the flowers, but I think actually the blank one's a little bit better. And here's how it looks. I think it looks really pretty. The details are quite subtle. So if that's, if you just want something to a little bit more than the original path, then you can consider this. The color is also very light. So um, that, you know, that's something that I think um, you just want to be think thinking about if that's what meets your design aesthetic. 
Um, and yeah, the, those little details of the strawberries and the little acorns are really cute. Okay, next design is this dirt, light dirt path that has leaves edged around it. Um, I think this is a unique take. I haven't seen that before. And this one is also an 11 slot path. And here's how it looks. Now, because the leaves are really light in color, it does um, jump out at you when you look at the path. Um, so it, it's very clearly highlighted. I'm curious to see how this looks in winter because I think the way those light leaves would be offset against the snow would be potentially really, really beautiful. So this is one I think I'll bookmark for winter. Okay, uh, another dirt path. <laughs> um, there's just so many beautiful ones. And this one has little subtle details on it, little flowers and leaves. And it is also a nine slot path. Ignore the stuff on the right. I was playing around with the original path. Um, and here's how it looks. I think it looks really, really beautiful and looks very similar to the original path actually, but just with those extra details. So if you really love the look of the original path, but just want one that has a little bit more something jumping out at you, particularly in the middle tiles, then this is a great option for you because those leaves look really realistic and it works really well with the other slots, um, other tiles in, this, in the design as well. Here you can just see the comparison between this and the original path. It's a little bit um, more yellow in tone, I think, um, but yeah, they do work quite well. Okay, uh, another light dirt path, again, with little um, leaf flower details. This one is similar to one that I showed you earlier that was also very light, that had little strawberries and acorns in it. This has the same, but they're a little bit bigger, so they show up more prominently. This design has um, is full 15 if you wanna use all the extras, and the creator also made a circle stone version to match. So here's how it looks. I think those details are super cute. I went for the middle tile that had little holes in it, but you can use the version that's plain. Um, the little strawberries at the bottom are so sweet, and the acorns at the top are also really, really pretty. So I think this, um, I think this one works really well. The details are quite, like, you know, they do jump out at you. So um, just think about if that's if you want that kind of amount of additional um, uh, visual interest, or if it's a bit too much for your island. So yeah, just either way, really, really pretty. Okay, moving on to some mushroom paths. Now this creator has made three versions of the same path, which is amazing. The first one is this red mushroom one, and they also made a version with little red mushrooms and pumpkins on it. And then finally a version with purple mushrooms and pumpkins. They have also made matching single tile ones and just transparent mushrooms and pumpkins. Now this one does not have end caps, it has just 11 slots, um, but it's color matched exactly to the original Denim Mori path. So what you can do is use the end caps designed for that and, and add them on to this design for the full 15. So there's a lot of flexibility there and um, let's see how it looks in real. And here's the red mushroom. I think it's so sweet. Um, I really love it for now, but also I think in autumn, it could look really, really extra cute. Um, the little mushroom details are really pretty and I like how varied they are in size. So it looks quite realistic. You know, there's little bigger ones, smaller ones, and they're scattered kind of all around. Um, so yeah, that's just really, really gorgeous. Here's the mushroom and pumpkin version. I think this one might be my favorite of the three because I think the, the different color tones really add something extra. Uh, I love the little um, orange touches of the pumpkins and the mushrooms. Um, they, yeah, just such fall vibes and I can't wait to see this with the Halloween update. I think that'll be super, super cool and really, really cute. Okay, and finally, the purple mushroom and pumpkins. I think this has such an air of whimsy to it. Um, 
like if you had a kind of fairy tale island or、um, any island where you just wanted something. Different, you know. Not a lot of the mushrooms are red in in terms of the designs, and so this is a little bit something extra, and I think it's super cute. Okay, moving on to another mushroom design. This one is much more subtle. So the mushrooms are really, really small, and to kind of create, it, it might look a little bit more natural, like the kind of size you might expect them to be in real. And it has little pebbles around it as well. So I think this is super cute. It adds、um, quite a lot of visual interest and detail to a path without it being too kind of obvious and in your face. I think it looks really nice at a distance as well. There's like proper illusion work going on,、um, and、uh, also to say this is a nine slot path if I'm correct.、Um, so you get the horizontal and vertical. Another pebbly dirt path is this one. There's two variations actually. One has a little bit more pebbles to it, and the other one's more plain. Well, no, it's not plain at all, but just like slightly less. <laughs>、um, and this one is a nine-slot path. So here's how it looks. I think the pebble details are really subtle and really pretty. So、um, again, I think if you love the look of the original path, but just felt like you wanted more.、Um, Visual interest in the main dirt part. This is a great option for you because the pebbles are really, really subtle.、Um, they just add a little sparkle to the path, and it looks really pretty. Okay, and now we've got this really dark dirt path. It's black. It's got these curling tendrils to it, which I think either look like roots or vines growing out of it, or maybe it's just like gothic and there's swirls and it's kind of that like. Beautiful gothic feeling.、Um, this creator has also made other cool dark、um, designs, like these bricks and little flowers. So do check this person out and see if there's、um, things you like. So here it is laid out. I've got to say this is an 11 slot path,、um, and I think it looks so gorgeous. If I had a kind of darker themed island, gothic horror. Something like that, then I would be jumping on this. I think,、um, like the little details in the corners are so pretty, like the little stars on the top left corner, and then here the top right corner with these pretty blue roses. Like they're so sweet and really meet that that、um, uh, stunning kind of gothic feeling. I'm saying gothic a lot, but basically that's what this, this design is giving me. So. Um, definitely do try that out if that would harmonize with your island theme. Okay, and then I'm testing out a beach sand theme,、um, beach sand design.、Um, this one is full 15, and they've also created other variations of the same. Uh, like same tile slot, so there's some with、uh, little shells on it, some without, some with holes. So there's a lot of variants which you can try. The creator also made different versions of the dirt path that has flowers scattered around it,、um, but I decided to try their sand version.、Um, so, but yeah, do check them out. They might have something you like. And here's how it looks. I love the little shell details around the corners. I think it's impressive how they made the sand look like it's got that sandy, wavy texture as well, which is really cool.、Um, this would suit like a tropical island or、uh, like one with a resort with some sand areas, stuff like that, or a desert themed.、Um, it's probably a little bit pre pretty for a desert one, but maybe without the, the seashells and stuff like that. Uh, and here's how it looks all laid out.、Um, yeah, really cool. And then lastly, I wanted to see what it would look like on the beach. I think it looks interesting. It's not actually necessary because your beach already looks beachy, <laughs> but it does create a little edged border, which I think is interesting. Okay, and now this is a really unusual dirt path, which I really like. It's this dark gray.、Uh, Deep forest-looking、uh, path with、um, yeah, lots of details. It's got like a pumpkin on it. It's got little berries. It's got mushrooms. This creator has made a bunch of kind of darker themed、um, designs, so do check them out. And here it is. Now I 
am so excited to see what this looks like with the Halloween update because those pumpkins look so realistic. They're like on the vine, ready to be picked, ready to turn into jack-o'-lanterns. Um, the details are quite big and prominent, so you definitely see them at a distance and close up. The color tone evokes a more uh, like a darker, spookier island vibe. So, I mean, it's it's not like a cottage core really design, um, but I think I'm sure someone will have a perfect fitting island theme for this. And it's just like, I love the details. Like it's just really, the illusion work is really exceptional. Okay, now this is probably the most uh, creative and visually like arresting version of the dirt paths I've seen. They have these little icons in all the corners and sides that are really massive and prominent. And, um, oh, and this is a nine slot design. So here's how it looks. It's not subtle. It's the opposite of subtle. Um, and it gives me like a cartoony, uh, old school video game vibe, which I think is really cool. And, um, I'm sure someone has some themes that work well with this. Um, I think it's just if you want designs that really pop out at the screen, like from the screen at you, this could be a really fun option. It's really whimsical. Um, the other thing I'd say is I do kind of wish the creator had made versions of each slot that was just blank so you can mix and match between them. Like you might not want like every design in, in it, right? But anyways, really cool. And the creator made another version of the path, which is a little warmer in tone and lighter. And they did actually do what I was just mentioning, where there are some versions of most slots that are blank. So you can mix and match between them and it's just less kind of jumping out at you. And here is how it looks laid out with some of the uh, slots with the designs and some that are blank. And this is so clearly inspired by the game, like all those items, the acorn, the shell, the DIY, they're all things you find in the game. So I think that's a really fun touch. If you don't want to be dropping items because it affects your score, then, you know, this has them pre-dropped for you. So I think that's a really fun little detail. Again, it's quite cartoony and it's very visually like intense. Um, so just like I, I think if you make this work it'll be amazing. Okay moving on to the natural themed paths. The first one I'm going to try out is this gorgeous grease, like green grass path. Um, this one is 15 slots and has the beveled edges that I mentioned. So here's how it looks laid out just plain. I think it's really really stunning like all those subtle beautiful multicolored flowers and um, the grass looks like soft and alive. Um, the beveled edges are, I find them a little bit harder to work with than end caps, but can look really cool. So what I've done, for example, here is I've edged out some of the ends of the single paths with like those little beveled corners. Um, so it just takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think it then has a really nice effect. Um, but yeah, anyways, so you can also use it without the edges, like that's also an option. Anyways, so here's just me admiring this grass path. I think it's really, really gorgeous and it all flows really nicely together. Like that middle tile is really, really gorgeous as well and all just looks so natural. Okay, and then moving on to the fairy path. Now this one I think predated the grass path. It works similarly. It originally had only beveled corners but now has end caps. And here is how it looks. I think it's super, super gorgeous. Like this teal green color with the bright pops of flower is just really, really, gorgeous. Um, I've seen this used on some fairy core islands and it's just like the extra like mwah, just beautiful. Um, and because there are so many different colors of flowers in the path, it kind of matches with whatever color theme you go with with your flowers and other decoration. So just really, really stunning. 
Okay, now this is maybe my favorite path. I haven't really figured out how to use it yet because it's a lot. So it's、um, just this incredibly detailed flower path that also has mushrooms in it, and all the a lot of the flowers are big and massive and in your face. It's kind of like flower power central. And this creator is、um, is someone who's made some designs that I really like. So there's this、um, these bottles, and then the kind of small cabinetry which looks like、uh, kind of post office boxes. Um, and I've used those in my designs, in my island designing before, and so it's a great example of like checking with a designer, with a creator, favoriting, and then seeing what they come up with. Oh, and this one's nine slots. So this is how it looks. I am in love. I am in awe. I I don't know how you design something so so detailed. And with so much life and character, and that all flows together so well. Like I was saying, it's a lot. So I mean, I wouldn't path my entire island fully, hundred percent with this because I don't think your eyes could take it. <laughs> like your brain would be able to compute it. But I think broken up, it can look really beautiful. Um, and you could even just use those corners for a little circle like this for a really pretty visual interest.、Um, I just like it's like an explosion of flowers. I think it could look really beautiful in a wedding as well. You know, like a flowery path. Anyways, this is another beautiful path. This one's like a vine grass pile of leaves style path. It's also nine slots. Um, and here's how it looks. I think it's really, really pretty. It's like,、um, yeah, I just imagine like tons and tons of leaves on the ground and crunching through them, and、um, I think it flows together quite nicely. It's、uh, more subtle because the green does match the green of the island grass.、Um, so yeah, just a really nice option. Okay, and then this is a pretty pink petal path that is like a tongue twister.、Um, anyways, it's it's、uh, it's kind of looks like sakura, so you know I think this would look really cute in sakura season. The creator also made dark black paths with、uh, different colors of petals on top of it, so they've done yellow, purple, and pink. Um, so that's also, you know, if you like their work, you can check out those versions.、Um, but I just really wanted to see what the pink one looked like. And here it is. I think it's really, really pretty. It looks like、uh, it looks both like clouds, but also like just leaves scattered everywhere.、Um, And it looks like fluffy, and you want to run around on it.、Um, so yeah, I just would love to see this in Sakura season with those pink trees. But also, if you just had like a pink themed、um, design, then this could be a great option for that as well.、Um, yeah, just super whimsical. Really cute. Okay, now we're moving on to some water-themed paths. This is、um, the first one that I think came out. It's called the Nameless Pond, which I think is really poetic and romantic.、Um, this one's only nine slots, but it has multiple versions of the middle tile, which I do recommend using in this case in particular because it adds a lot of potential extra visual interest. Um, and so I downloaded all of them as well, just to show you what they look like. And here it is. Like, I am in love with all these details. Like, it looks really realistic. It looks like magical. The bright pink flowers popping against the water is really, really pretty.、Um, this is it with just the plain water in the middle tile across it all. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when you add、um, some, like one of the middle ones that has more visual interest. And here you go. That is so so pretty. I really love those little koi fish.、Um, and then just also wanted to show you if you only used one of these, how it would look. And personally, I think it's too busy. So. 
you know, given that it's only nine slots, it's not much to sacrifice an extra two to make it look more realistic. So yeah, that's just too much. I think um, it, it doesn't look as natural. So then wanted to adapt it just to show you what it looks like with um, the like all three all three middle tiles used. So putting down the fish and then I will have that uh, blank slot and then lastly adding in that big stone in the middle. And once I finish that curve, this is how it looks. And I think that's so pretty. It just, yeah, there's so much to look at. Anyways, this is another pond path and this one is more natural in tone. The colors are more what you would see in a lake or a pond um, and this in this really pretty aqua blue. This design is again nine slots but has five variants of the middle tile. You don't need all five, you could use them if you want to, but then you're, you know, using a lot of slots. I ended up downloading three, so blank, uh, a little fish one and a lily pad one, but you can mix and match between them and see what makes the most sense for the area that you're designing in. Um, but yeah, just really, really impressive design work here as with the previous one. And here is how it looks. I think it looks so, so, so gorgeous. Like the little ripples in the water looks really, really realistic. The color tone is soft and like comforting. And um, the details are super impressive. Like all those little lily pads and little flowers peeking out. And like the, the sunlight dappling through the, the pond is super, super pretty. Yeah, really, really, uh, uh, really, really into this one. And then you can see some extra details like these fish just going on to nibble at um, maybe some some algae or I don't know. Anyways, um, then wanted to show you what it looks like when you vary up the middle tiles. And here we are. I think that looks really precious just uh, adds extra stuff to look at and um, really showcases the artistry of the design. And I also did that up top and just showing you how that looks as well. Okay, now we're moving on to stone and wood designs. The first one is this really beautiful cobblestone. Um, there are two variations, one that has this kind of dark grouting in the middle and then one that is transparent between the different stones. Now this is kind of like, it's unclear what this is. I think it's a nine slot design, but then it has extra ends um, that you could mix and match. And I think they kind of work diagonally. Um, I didn't really figure out how to use them. Maybe you will, but I just ended up downloading just the nine slots um, to use in a more traditional way. And here is how it looks. I think it looks really, really beautiful. The stones look really smooth and um, like warm and worn down. Um, and you know, you could like walk barefoot on this even. Um, so I think this could look really pretty in like a European town feeling, something like that. It also looks really nice just in a circle when you add the four corners together. That's a nice little detail you could just add if you don't want to use the whole path or you want to vary up how you use it. Um, I'd be really interested to see how this looks in winter. Uh, I think the way it looks against the snow would be really interesting as with the version that is transparent between instead of the grouting. Um, so yeah, just showing you the detail and how like soft those stones look. Okay, the next version of the path I'm going to show you is this really pretty beige cobblestone. Um, it like has these interesting green edges to it so that means that it might fade really nicely into grass if you have summer grass or spring grass. Um, the creator also has made 
another like a whole bunch of versions of the path there's this really dark one with flowers edging and some leaves I think that could look really good if you like a darker path and here is how this one looks I think it looks really excellent that um, I think it's done really really well and it looks really realistic I love how smooth it all looks in terms of the edges and I mean clearly Nan likes it too because <laughs> she just keeps coming over to stare at it um, which I think is super precious so yeah if um, this one is a nine slot path so it's more economical but obviously again um, as I've been saying before it's a bit thicker and here is how it looks when it's more designed out with more details around it I think it's really cute um, so yeah check this one out if you're interested and if it's your theme Okay, the next one is a pebbly cobblestone. Now this one is very, it has a lot of transparent areas, which means a lot of your ground will peek through, whether it's grass or snow, etc. Um, and this one is a nine slot path, and here is how it looks. I think it's really, really cute. It's much kind of rockier in nature than the previous two cobblestones, um, and it's much smaller, which I think is really cute. Um, I also like the little white flower edges that it has around some of the corner tiles, and I think it looks super realistic. Um, yeah, it's just done really well and here is how it looks as just a little small circle um, I think this looks really really nice and in fact what you could do is just use this as a circle design separate from the path like instead of this stone circle that I use that you know lots of people do have you could use this instead it could be a nice variant to that um, that kind of trend and like up close it looks super nice as well now the next path is this dark cobblestone design. It is, um, yeah, it's just done really, really well. It's all really smooth and um, yeah, I just think that it's it really captures the idea of this dark cobblestone. I think it could work really well on a gothic island, etc. Okay, so here is the next path. It's this beautiful stone cobblestone path that has um, these blue gray blue gray kind of stones and these little pastel colored flowers peeking through and I think it almost looks like you know little flowers are trying to push through the stones and trying to grow anyways on this path there are 15 slots um, but also there's an extra two versions of um, be a horizontal and vertical so that kind of comes to 17 you don't have to use them though and then there's single tile slots um, single tile designs of just the little stones which you can mix and match with okay and here is how it looks laid out I think it's really really pretty I love how um, natural it all flows and the color is really gorgeous um, the little flowers really offset the stone really well and even if you were to use that middle tile repeatedly it doesn't look too repetitive it looks quite natural still so that's really a bonus with with designs and uh, yeah I think the flow of it all is just super super nice and um, I think it could work for a cottage core fairy core etc Okay, and here's another similar design, but it ends up looking quite different. This is a kind of warmer tone stone with really pretty blue, violet col uh, colored flowers peeking through. The designer has made um, multiple versions of like just single tile design so you could use those instead if you like this look and don't want to commit to the path but the actual the path version is nine uh is it nine i think it's nine slots um oh no it's 11 my bad and um this creator has also made really beautiful other designs um so it definitely one to favorite if you like their stuff and then you can check back in and see what they're up to and what they've made and it's just yeah really nice um and here it is laid out i think it looks really really lovely and really smooth um i'm just generally really impressed at how this designer puts things together um and 
yeah I think it just like flows really nicely now <clears throat> Now if you zoom in, the detail is just really really pretty and here in this little area is what if you just do the four corners and make it into a circle. I've seen someone use this on a winter island and it is breathtaking there. Uh, so yeah, something you could choose to do if you download the whole path or just these four corners as well. Um, okay, the next design is this little stone version. Um, this one has kind of um, multiple versions of how the edges show. So the one I downloaded has transparent um, edges, so it's like the little gaps between the stones. But you could also choose a version that has um, like darker grouting almost between them, or there's also a version that has blue running throughout it so it looks kind of like water and here it is laid out I think it's really pretty this, what I find most remarkable about this design are the little flower details in the corners so here um, on the bottom left oh bottom right are those little yellow flowers and then the top left those sweet little um, purple flowers anyways and then this is um, the stone path I think this one could work really well in like a castle sign this one is a, a nine slot path but it has variants in the middle so it's kind of up to you how you chop and change between them and um, yeah I've also seen people use this brown version just laid over dirt and that's also really really pretty as well so um, this creator has yeah anyways this is how it looks I think that's really cute um, something to say is that it is quite angular in how it lays out and that's part of why I think that it would look particularly good in like a castle medieval kind of look something where it's a little bit more regimented and lines are a bit more straight um, the different variations of the center tiles also look quite good there's that broken one as well as one with a hole in it and if you want to make the space for it you can just have multiple versions and swap between them which makes it more flexible in terms of that middle design but yeah just in general i think cool option now this is a really really interesting stone variation in that it's set at a diagonal and most that I see and the ones that I've shown previously are all horizontal so it means you look at it seems like kind of very flat straight lines whereas this one in a diagonal I think it adds extra dimension to the path this is a full 15 tile full 15 slot path uh, and here's how it looks laid out I think it looks super super cool I could totally imagine this in like an area full of runes and statues and worn down kind of old uh, ancient objects so yeah really cool option because it is at an angle it can appear a little bit more jagged at the edges um, and like I think that works really well for a runes feeling but it might just not be what you're looking for so just to be aware if you if you want to test the this one out that's the kind of effect it will come to um, but in general I think it's just like it's it looks really realistic and I'm really impressed with that uh, yeah okay the next I'm gonna try is a wood design now this is a kind of a lightly distressed wood uh, path um, there are multiple versions of the middle tile that it ha like it shows more gaps and then another one has more this is actually a 11 slot design I ended up only downloading nine um, so I didn't show the horizontal and vertical ones but this is how it looks in any case I think it's done really well like the details are really nice and really really effective um, and here I'm just showing you what it looks like if you use um, multiple versions I mean um, if you use that fully filled out wood in the middle and I think that looks really nice and natural as well if you wanted to make space you could use both and just have some little gaps here and there entirely up to you it's nice that it doesn't use up all of your slots so it's kind of less painful swapping between them 
So yeah, this is how it looks. Looks pretty nice. All right, and this next one is a very worn, very distressed wooden design. This again is full, uh, no, this one is, oh, this one is full 15 with multiple versions of the middle design. Um, and what you, what you can consider with this one is like mixing up between those, but it is 15 slots already. Here's how it looks. I think it looks really cool, really old. I've seen some people try out like Wild West style themes on their island and I think this one could look really cool in like a broken down saloon, you know, like or a stable, some area where the wood gets really, really distressed and worn down. Um, yeah, and, and the detail work is really, really great. Um, when you zoom in, you can see all those knobbly lines and the grain of the wood, which is cool. Okay, we're now moving to the last category, which is space and celestial themed islands, uh, themed paths. And this is a starry night path. And I think it's really, really beautiful. It looks like you're just staring into the twinkling night sky with these little stars and planets and other sp space objects <laughs> glinting down at you. Maybe they're satellites. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it's it's really really nice. This one is 11 slots um, So you have the horizontal vertical and laid out. It looks really cool This is probably not how you decorate with it. You could dump a ton of star fragments there a moon uh, uh, Like a crescent moon chair stuff like that and really bring it to life in that uh, space starry theme Okay, and then this next one is this really cute unique cloud floor. Um, this one has uh, 15 slots if you use them all up and um, it comes in two varieties. It has the pink and the blue but also the creator has been clearly making multiple versions of cloud design so there's older ones as well. I think the newest one are, ones are most polished and kind of fluffy so that's what I went with. And here is how it looks. I think it looks so soft and pillowy and inviting. I think this is, yeah, just really magical. And I could imagine like an island in the sky or um, something themed around like the gods, you know, like the Greek gods and Mount Olympus and stuff like that. Uh, so this is one where I'd love to see someone use it. If you do use it, please send me some photos because I think it could be really, really interesting. Um, and in general, I think it just flows really nicely. Um, it looks really, yeah, cozy. You just want to like jump in and roll around in it and take a bite of it you know like cotton candy or something <laughs> um, so yeah really really cool unique design here okay and then the last one I have is another super unique design this is based around the moon the surface of the moon it has all these cute little craters all around and um, I just love like the little details it has and there's this is a nine slot design but with an alternate for the middle so 10 in total if you use that extra one and I do recommend that you do it if you use this design because it adds a lot of flexibility I'll show you later on here's how it looks I think it looks super realistic I mean it's kind of it's obviously sci-fi um, uh, uh, well, no, I mean you can't get to the moon, but you have to be a super impressive astronaut um, So yeah, I, I think it's I think it's really really cool I uh, hear I'm showing you what the other middle tile looks like. I actually um, I actually think it's more realistic looking Because it stands out a little bit less so I would use that as the main middle tile um, Or you know if you have room for both definitely use both because I think it adds really nice dimension so yeah, so those are all the 40 plus designs that I've put together for you guys. This is the design that I ended up going with. I'm really happy with it, that pretty purple uh, design. I hope you really like this video and it might help you find your version of the perfect path. And uh, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you so much. See you next time, guys. Bye.